Okay, we're going to do an actual example with an equation. So we'd like to find the local extrema for the function f of x equals x over x squared plus 1 on the interval 0, 3. Now if we remember, a local extrema may occur if we're at an endpoint, if the derivative equals 0, or if the derivative does not exist. So we want to check all these conditions and decide whether each one is a local extrema or not. Okay, well the first one is easy to check. Endpoints. We have two endpoints. So we have possibilities. Already our x equals 0 and x equals 3. Okay, let's check find any other possibilities before we start checking. So we need to take the derivative. We need to find where it equals 0 and where it doesn't exist. So f prime of x, well, we use the quotient rule, the derivative of the first half, 1 times the bottom, x squared plus 1, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, so x times 2x all over the bottom squared, x squared plus 1 squared. And we'll simplify this. This becomes minus x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. Now, the derivative is always defined because, well, the top's going to be a real number for any x. That's fine. We're always okay as long as we're not dividing by 0. But the bottom here never equals 0. So since x squared plus 1 squared does not equal 0, for all x, f prime is defined everywhere. Defined everywhere. Okay, well when, so it exists everywhere, how about when does it equal zero? Okay, well f prime of x equals 0. It's going to equal, the denominator is not going to make it 0, but the numerator could make it 0. So it's going to equal 0 if minus x squared plus 1 equals 0. So that means that x squared equals 1, and so x is plus or minus 1. Now let's think back to the interval that we're wondering about. The problem is asking the interval 0 to 3. So only one of these solutions is in 0 to 3. So x equals 1 is our only new candidate. Only new candidate. So that finally leaves candidates of We have x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 3. So these are possible local mins, local maxes. Now let's verify what each of these are, if they are one. So recall our function. This was x over x squared plus 1. Now the first way we could verify is with a graph. Now you may not know what this function looks like when it's graphed, but if you have a graphing calculator or a computer, or you like to plug in a lot of points, you can get the picture without too much trouble. And it looks something like that. And right here, this is 0. Here, 
here this is 3. So from the picture, we already know, well, right here, that's 1. We already know we're going to have a local min at 0. We're going to have a local max at 1. We're going to have a local min at 3. But let's verify this. OK, so this is way 1. So method 1 is a graph. Method 2 is to plug in points. So let's compute f f of 0. Well, this is 0 over 1. This is 0. Let's try f of something really close to 0. We know we're not going to be on the left of 0, but we can try something on the right of 0. So f of point 0.1. This is point 0.1 over 0 0.1 squared plus 1. Well, this is a positive number divided by a positive number. This is bigger than 0. And we know if we made this number even smaller, it would still be a positive over positive. It would still be strictly positive, strictly bigger than 0. So uh, 0, so x equals 0 is a local min. Why didn't we need to pick n numbers to the left of 0, like minus 0 0.1? Well, that's because we're only worried about the interval 0 to 3. OK, let's test our next one. Let's test f of 1. So this is 1 over 1 squared plus 1, which is 1 half. And this one, we do need to test numbers, both to the left and the right. So let's first test to the left, f of 0.9. This is 0.9 over 0.9 squared plus 1. And we compute this on the calculator. It's approximately 0.497, which is less than 1 half. OK, let's test a number to the right f of 1.1. This is 1.1 over 1.1 squared plus 1. And we plug this into our calculator. We find that this one is also about 0.497, which is less than 1 half. So x equals 1 is a local max. OK, and let's test our final point. Let's look at f of 3. This is 3 over 3 squared plus 1, which is 3 tenths, or 0.3. Now, 3 is the right endpoint of an interval, so we only need to test numbers slightly less than 3. So let's look at f of 2.9, and this is 2.9 over 2.9 squared plus 1. And we plug that into our calculator, and we get that is approximately 0.31. So we see it's bigger than 0.3. So this is bigger than 0.3. So x equals 3 is a local min. OK, let's look at the third method. Method 3, this is derivative test. So if we remember back to our computation, f prime of x, this was minus x squared plus 1 over 
x squared plus 1 all squared. Now let's look at the point x equals 0. This is a left endpoint. What is the derivative? f prime of 0. Well, that's 1 over 1. That's 1. And more importantly, it's positive. So we know that the picture right here, this is x equals 0, whatever our function does, it must increase away from that. So this is f prime is positive. So this is a local min. Let's test, how about x equals 1? Well, the derivative at x equals 1 is 0. What is it to the left? If we pick a number very near 1, like 0.9, we see that this is going to be 1 minus something less than 1. And then we're going to divide by something positive. So f prime of 0.9 this is a positive number. And if we pick something slightly bigger than 1, well, we'll have minus something bigger than 1, plus 1. So that's going to be negative, divided by something positive. So f prime of a number slightly to the right of 1, that's negative. So what does this tell us? Our function here at x equals 1. Well, it's increasing from the left, and then it's decreasing to the right. And so this is a local max. So finally, let's squeeze in here x equals 3. Now, this is a right endpoint. We can comp actually compute the derivative at x equals 3. And it turns out the derivative at 3 is going to be a negative number, because the top is going to be 1 minus 9, which is negative 8, divided by a po big positive number. So that means the picture to the right endpoint at x equals 3 our function is decreasing towards there. f prime is negative, and so this is a local min.